up. So, you know, I was ready to do this video right here because of someone who still believes OJ Simpson didn't do it. And I'm going to, I've done videos on that and I would address that another time. But anyway, this one's about old happy tap dancing Christopher Darton representing Eric Holder, the cat who killed, allegedly, and this is what they're holding him on, Kelly Nipsey Hussle. And I am stone cold tripping because Christopher Darden, just sitting up there weeping and crying, like a little, like he needed like some tissue paper for his eyes, and cried on Marsha Clark's soul shoulders, and oh, we got OJ all, oh. and he sent up here representing Eric Holder, Christopher Darden, who once upon a time was down with Anita Hill, and he made some sense, and even though I feel OJ didn't do it, and I got my own points and theories why I don't feel he did it. But Christopher Darden, who was trying to be all eloquent. But then this is what it comes down to now. Hmm. So this is what it's going to come down to what he has done. What is what represents you as a lawyer? Especially when you're supposed to be Mr. Almighty Prosecutor and you're supposed to be like, you know, you seeking this and any other. It's going to be hard because you represent a cat that put six caps in Nipsey Hussle. And yet, you sat up there and you raked O.J. Simpson through the coals, okay? But now you're going to sit here and represent a cat that they actually got evidence on. They didn't have all everything clear with O.J. Simpson. Stuff didn't match. Like Johnny Cochran said, if it don't fit, you must have quit. If you don't have the, you don't have the whole nine, you out of time. That's my little freestyle, but Johnny Cochran ate that turkey for breakfast. And left him over there crying on Marsha Clark's shoulders. I ain't got no love for neither one of them. And Christopher Darden tapping, dancing, and crying, and slurping like he's at 7-Eleven off a big gulp. And this is what it comes down to? You mean to tell me you go from 25 years ago where you was going up against O.J. Simpson to represent a cat like this? Who is just... It ain't even about you. It's just like, okay, how many years? What you gonna do? To be honest with you, I'm even surprised they found uh, Eric Holden, Nipsey Hussle's killer, because um, black on black crime never gets solved. So I'm glad they actually thought something of Nipsey Hussle to actually go apprehend somebody, because they still ain't found Tupac's killer, or Biggie's killer, or Jam Master J or Big L. So we can go on and on. And you know what they did with Prince and Whitney Houston and Michael Jackson? Because, well, Michael Jackson, though, uh, that Conrad Maroon got like a slap on the wrist. All that. So those are unsolved black crimes right there. Oh, yeah, I went there. Yeah, I went there. So that the fact that Nipsey Hussle, they catch this cat, but this turkey must have just been a little too obvious where he was doing. But Christopher Darden, this is what it comes down to. The, all that talking about. You know what, behind OJ and all that, this is what you got? Man, that's a weak sauce on your part, Christopher Darden. Considering that you went all full butter on the bread against OJ, this is where you at? It's not a good look representing the cat that took out Nipsey Hussle. You know, but I guess a brother do what he got to do for a paycheck. But really, I thought you were a prosecutor. Hmm. But they don't even want you on that side of the bench no more. That's what it comes down to. That's what happened when you sold yourself out. And got played. That's my take about Christopher Darden representing the cat that uh, killed Nipsey Hussle. For free, leave them comments, hit that subscribe, and leave them some suggestions. And your boy's out for the day. Peace.